two fouls for the half. Kemp into Risley, who looks to the hole. Good job. Fatchman pulls down rebound. the board. Over to Lynn Wood, pushing it hard up the court. To the wing, to Paletto. Nice shot off the mark. 32 again. We had a hunt with a couple hunt. misses there, but here's your Kemp. Kemp trying to go all the way. Ivy Kemp. Shots no good. Fotchman on the board. And that's going to be a travel. Travel on Fotchman. She's very active, always energetic out there. Uh, About the third or fourth time she's been on the floor, but she's uh, always she, hustling. The uh, Lady Wolverine soft, uh, softball catcher for the past couple years, and I'm sure she'll be in that same position again this year. Uh, always a 100% player and uh, never afraid to get dirty or bruised up. That's right. As Kushel gets fouled, there she will line shoot too. And uh, so you mentioned that we just had Coach Luter on. We spoke to him last game as we were at a, as he's now the Ripley basketball coach and we brought him in during the girls game and uh, he's also the Westfield Lady Wolverines softball coach in the spring. Dave does a good job uh, with the girls and I know uh, my wife works at Ripley that uh, the boys although they uh, weren't very successful uh, they were successful in what coach Luter taught them this year and they're looking forward to uh, coach Luter coming back for, and uh, coaching them again next year. Yep. So kudos to Coach Luter, and good luck with your uh, Lady Wolverine softball this year. Losing a uh, top pitcher in Kylan Tennies, and uh, going to have to uh, have, I believe it would be probably young Kristen LeBaron this year, possibly stepping up and uh, taking mound duties for a uh, well-rounded softball team that competes for the title every year. Woodruff with a miss at the free throw line. Brianna Hunt got the rebound. Oh, hot potato here. Stays Westfield ball. So 28 to 10 here. Under three minutes to play here in the quarter. Heather Barrett, the senior, checks back in for Brockton, in for Cushel. Cushel, by the way, got her first points back from the free throw line, hitting one out of two. Paletto with the ball to Wood. Swing it to the corner to Fotchman. Seven on the clock. Good defense. Woodruff takes it up and a nice defensive play. It's Abby Deland. She's a junior. She's now running the point. Nice move by Barrett. Nice step through. Chases a rebound and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Westfield ball with two minutes and 22 seconds left here in the third quarter. Once again, this is Destination Chautauqua County Sports. We've enjoyed bringing you coverage all over the broadcast region. We're here again in Brockton today, 20, where Westfield Lady Wolverines are in town, and they we lead this one 28 to 10. Three-pointer is no good by Paletto. Be Brockton basketball. We're joined here by Brockton alumni Roger Miller. Ooh, a hard foul by Fochman at the high post, and uh, looks like Brockton has one more before they're going to be in the one and one So Brockton retains ball, uh, taking it out on the sideline. And Coach Morrison's going to take a timeout for his club here. 2.05 left here in the third quarter. His team is up 28-10. to 10. And this is Destination Chautauqua County Sports. My name's Steve Kieser with Roger Miller, and we're going to take a quick public service announcement break and get you back to coverage here in a second. So my uncle calls, and he says he's dizzy and he's losing his balance. So I'm like, Uncle, you want me to take you to a doctor? He's like, no, I'm going to look up the symptoms. I said, your symptoms are you're dizzy and you're losing your balance. So he said, I can't get on the Internet because my arm is numb. I said, well, use your good arm and dial 911. Stroke's no joke. If you or someone you love is showing symptoms of stroke, don't wait because it might be too late. Dial 911. Time lost is brain. Okay, we're back here for Cable Access Channel 5 out of Mayville. Hope you enjoyed our coverage here. If you have a comment, question or comment, it could be reached at 
Channel 5 at Fairpoint.net. That's Channel 5 at Fairpoint.net. You can see every game we've broadcast. Well, just about every game we've broadcast within the, with the exception of uh, maybe the last two or three on YouTube. On uh, Cable Access Channel 5's website, just uh, do a search of Destination Chautauqua County Sports or visit our producer's page, TV Man 3279. Brockton's ball. Heather Number Barrett. 12, Heather Barrett with a shot, and Fochman gets it. And wisely uh, gets it to her point guard, Lynn Wood, who looks under to Paletto. And ball off of Wood's foot. It'll be Brockton ball heading back down. Yeah, Brockton's got uh, two points this quarter, I believe, right, Steve? Yep, yep, two points. It's been a struggle. Struggling against the Westfield pressure, which... Heather Barrett with the steal there. Now she's driving nice the lane. Take she gets, gets hammered by Sarah Foxman. Barrett going to go to the line. I'm sure Coach Morrison is uh, working on uh, getting his girls ready for the playoffs here, which would be starting next week. That's right. The girls, Westfield girls, have struggled also. I believe they are three and six within league. Brockton, one and nine. But all the records are cleared in play for playoffs. That's the truth. Brooke Kushel back in the ball game for Abby Deland. Second free throw is good by Barrett. So she's the leading scorer today here for Brockton. She has six tonight. Lynn Wood bringing the ball up to Hunt on the wing. Who picks up her dribble, gets it back out to Wood. Entry pass, nobody's home. Barrett ends up with the ball, who gets it over to Kushel. Oh, who travels? Brooke Kushel, also still just a freshman, as Ken Parcell, Brockton's coaches, lost his point guard earlier. She fouled out in the third quarter. Young uh, Jess Putcher, uh, just a freshman here, starting point guard for the Bulldogs. Uh, she's got a bright future in front of her, uh, not only on the basketball court, but a, a nice young pitcher for the Brockton Lady Bulldogs. So she's got to be looking forward to the spring coming up here. Aren't we all? Yes, we are. And Sarah Fochman gets a, her own rebound a couple times and finally is followed by Heather Barrett. Heather Barrett, just her first foul. Botchman looking for her first points, I believe. And she hits the first free throw. Nice, Second free throw by Sarah Fochman on its way, and it is no good. Rebound by Lynn Wood Rebound comes Lynn up Wood. with it. And some steps were taken in retaining the ball. It'll be a Brockton ball heading down court. Roberts checking it into Kushel, covered by Paletto. Gets it on the wing to Barrett, swings it. Rachel Risley takes it hard to the hole, misses the basket. Paletto comes down with a rebound. Up to Wood. Picked up by Roberts. Oh. And thrown away Rock there the by the girls have switched to a 1-3-1 uh, style uh, defense, and it seems at this point it's given the uh, Westfield Lady Wolverines a little bit of a problem here. So they've uh, definitely shutting them down a little bit more defensively is that the Bulldogs as uh, Woodruff gets the ball and takes it hard to the hole, gets fouled, and is heading to the line for two. We'll just start this game. Erica Woodruff, the senior here for Westfield, Scored about the first eight points of the ball game. I have her just for nine, nine for the game now. So she scored the first eight in the ball game. It's been quiet since that double team and triple team has affected her, but other players have stepped it up for Westfield. She misses the first free throw. Now shooting her second. And that's no good. Rebound. Sarah Foxman, Foxman. working hard on the boards. Gonna be white basketball, Brockton ball. 
down 29 to 11 here. 17.6 here left in the quarter. Third quarter action. Here's Kushel bringing Got a it off. Screen up top. Oh, a tough call on number 13, Ivy Kemp of the uh, Brockton Bulldogs for setting an illegal screen. Well, the second or third time that one's been called. Yeah, that's a tough one. It's a totally a decision call on the ref. It could go either ways. Seems to be going the wrong way. As here, under 10 seconds, 8 seconds, Lynn, Lynn Wood. Wood. taking it hard as there's a collision at midcourt. Two seconds, one. Up. Paletto shot is no good at the buzzer. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. As it is 29 to 11, Westfield is up on the Lady Brockton Bulldogs here in Brockton. My name is Steve Keener here with Roger Miller. And we're going to take a quick public service announcement and then bring you back for fourth quarter coverage. When you open a book, a whole new world comes to life. And you just never know who we are going to meet. Ah, humbug. Read a book. And experience the wonder. Discover the fun. And become part of something magical. What's happening? Read a Christmas Carol and other books online. Go to read.gov. Explore new worlds. Read. Okay, and we are back here, getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Westfield's up 29 to 11 over the Brockton Lady Bulldogs. I don't know if you can hear in the background. We got the Brockton Pep Band in the corner. We've showed them a couple times throughout the night. We've got a nice energy here in the gym. You don't see that too often around the around the county. First time we've had this. Oh, I remember Pep Bands being being a thing in the. You know, late 80s, early 90s, it was pretty neat to get the atmosphere going in the building. That's the truth, yeah. It used to be more football games back in uh, the olden days, but uh, nice pleasant surprise to see them here for the uh, girls basketball game tonight here in Brockton. Yeah, they get quite the participation. Megan Shepard with a big block on Heather Barrett. Ramel taking it all the way. Hard off the rim. It'll be Westfield ball. Or, excuse me, Brockton ball. Roberts bringing the ball up for the Lady Bulldogs. A nice look under. Stolen by Ramel. Ramel with another steal. Oh, oh, takes it to the hoop, gets fouled, and converts, and will try for the three point play. Ramel has six points here tonight for the junior. I bet you she's. It's got to be almost in double digits here for steals. I would say she's, uh, she's definitely a quick one. Definitely a quick one. And she has on, been on the Lady Bulldog ball hander all night as she converts that second free throw. She has seven points here tonight. And we're going to say about ten steals. Got to be close. Kushel bringing it down the wing. Looking in. There's Ivory Kemp gets Ivy, it up top up to, to Risley. Risley. Driving and she gets fouled by Sh Chandra Mag oh, Shauna McGuire. Risley will step to the line for two. Risley one point tonight. Uh, that is uh, Westfield's eighth team foul. Um, Brockton sitting at six, so Brockton's next foul will uh, send Westfield to the line for one and one. Shauna McGuire, the senior, her third foul. Rachel Risley, the junior for Brockton. Her first free throw is no good. Rachel steps up the line for her second shot. Second shot is good. So she converts on her second free throw. She's got two points here tonight. We're sitting at 32 to 12 here, Steve, with about seven minutes left in the fourth quarter here of uh, two seniors from Brockton's final games of their high school career. Heather Barrett one being them. one, 
And uh, Ivy Kemp being the other. And Heather Barrett just had the rebound there for the Brockton. She's one of those girls you're speaking of. Barrett. There she is for three. No good. Rebound.